Hello, and welcome to Grug Gaming, and welcome back to our playthrough of Ultima V Warriors of Destiny. We are still down here in the dungeon, attempting to get to uh, the Amulet of Lord British. Uh, we're in Dungeon Death Star, by the way, in case you weren't, didn't remember. So, last time we went in this room last episode, we had to fight some demons. Uh, let's head back in there. We killed them last time, but... I don't think we were successful because there's some back, um, which is not good. So let's go ahead and put on our crown. Oh no, no, don't remove the crown. Put the crown on. Alright, good. Alright, let's get out of here. Take a couple hits, that's okay. Oh, yellow's kind of blocked there. We may lose a couple party members. Not terribly concerned if we do. We have plenty of uh, healing spells with us if we need them. Can we get out? Oh no, we're stuck. Well, this is going to be unpleasant. Down goes one, and Jane is about down. That's okay. All right, we're gonna go west, and here we are. We're in the underworld, look at that. Wasn't so bad, folks. So, before we advance any farther, uh, let's look at where we are. Uh, here in the underworld, we are down here, in this little section. We need to make our way, it looks like, over to this swampy river. And from here, uh, it looks like we can kind of, you know, get around this giant lake. And maybe, like, go this way and head down this lake some more on our carpet. And then from there, get through what looks like a poison swamp to where we're headed. Uh, it looks like we're going to need to go up some mountains here and then out this way as well. So... First things first, Grug, how about you cast a little Inmani Corp? Whoop! Grug, cast a little Inmani Corp. Oh, your magic's too low, and I walked on the poison field. Well, that was not, not the brightest I've ever done. Who's still alive? Hardly anyone. Okay, I guess we're going to have to hole up and camp first, uh, and get our magic points back. Oh, we got attacked by a troll. Seriously? Do you mind? Thank you. Alright, let's try this again. Oh, hey, LB! LB is short for Lord British, which is who that apparition must be. Um, nope, don't worry about all the dead bodies. Just, just heal us up. That'll be fine. Uh, Grug, got you your magic back, so... Grug, how about a little... a bit of... In Monte Corp. On Jaina. Perfect. And one more time on Gweno. And then Gw uh, Jaina, why don't you go ahead and Vasmani yourself? And then Vasmani, Gweno. Back at fighting strength, good to go. So, first stage, get on our carpet, get a torch up, and we need to get south. We're going to have to climb to the south, it looks like. So let's get down there. Oh, look, we can just kind of follow this path. Okay. So if we just follow this, actually, are we going to come out? Yeah, okay, we'll come out right where this river is. So if we are right where this river is, we should be able to, if we came out here, we should be able to follow this river just south and follow the bends of the river until we get to this big lake. So that'll be our goal. Let's, uh, let's keep going. Uh, I don't want to get lost here, I just got to be a little bit careful. So we go down the river and then the river bends slightly. Wow, these torches just don't last very long. 
So the river goes up. Some demons are on the river. Um, we'll just... Demons, do your thing somewhere else. Uh, we'll head up the river. We should see a big branch off to the left of the river itself. There we go. We want to take the right branch. And we're going to go to the next big branch in the river. Then we'll look at the map again. Okay. Next big branch in the river. This has got to be this branch. So we're going to have to take this little switchbacky thing to the next branch. So north a bit. Yeah, this little kind of backwards dude. And from there, uh, we want to take... We want to follow the river to the west and then south, and this should dump us out on the lake, if we've done this correctly. Oh, there's some waterfalls and an earthquake, but it looks like, it looks like we've made it, folks. We are out on the lake. Let's confirm with a crystal. Yes. So, what we're going to do is we're going to follow this shoreline until we find a river uh, the, that is heading southeast is where we want to go. Alright, so, follow the shoreline. Stay safely along its uh, banks. Ooh. Almost there. Alright, from here... We're going to take this southeast bend of the river. Felt like our torch was about to run out. Just went ahead and lit another one. And this should pop us out where we saw, yes, all that poison marsh. Awesome. Awesome, awesome. So does this match our expectations? Yes. So there's where we are right here. So I guess we want to fly straight to the west here, I mean the east, and then we want to go up this little path. That's where we're headed. So let's get a fly-in. Let's save while we're this far along. So here we go, getting to the mountains. I think we're going to line up perfectly actually with the little section we wanted to get to. Yeah! Oh right! We are almost there. Uh, we just need to get to that little path off to the east a little bit more. Huh. Alright. There we are. Have we made it? <gasps> Is that the, the amulet? Oh my goodness. Here, let's, let's get our carpet. What do we have? A corpse? Nothing. Another corpse? Another corpse? A corpse? And then here we have the amulet. Let's get it! The amulet of Lord British. So we now have the scepter, the sandalwood box, the amulet, and the crown. But these graves are here. Let's look at these graves. Here lies a valiant knight, Meridian died in December 1st of 137. So, he died two years ago. Ah! Erroneous. Rowan. Noen. And Garachi. And then these guys died before they could be... At, no one was alive to bury these folks. Um, these must be the knights that were with um... Lord British, when he came down here on his grand adventure two years ago when he got lost, and then Blackthorn took over. So we're on the trail, folks. Well, with that completed, that means that our next destination is going to be... What do we have here? We need to get to... The Stygian Abyss, or, the, or the, the center, it's not the Stygian Abyss anymore, but the center 
of all evil. So if we look here on the map, that's this volcano. You can see there's a, a grand dungeon here in the center of it we need to get to. Looks like we have to climb up a uh, lava to get there. But to get there, we need to come out of dungeon number seven. So dungeon number seven is the dungeon of shame. Now the good news is we already have shame's word, infama. We already got the word of power for shame. I don't remember who we got it from. So let's take a look at our Where is Shame map. Uh, the Dungeon Shame, number seven, is located right here in these mountains. So, we need to head through Dungeon Shame, which is going to take us to the Underworld. And if we get down there, and we figure out that we want to come back, we're going to have some problems because we have to go back to the whole dungeon. So, something we're going to do. The Resistance has talked to me some more. Uh, before we went down this cave, there were some Resistance members. He came to me and talked to me and told me that the Moon Gates are actually controlled by magical stones that are in the ground. We're going to go get one of those stones. So the first thing we're going to do, Grug, you got some magic points? Not much. Okay, the first thing we're going to do is um, we're going to save and we're going to rest the party. Get our magic points back. You know, we'll just sleep in this graveyard. What could go wrong? All right. Grug, there we go. We're going to Voss. No, we're not going to view a gem. We're going to cast a Voss Relpor. And we want to go to... Where does one take us? One is Moonglow. Let's go to... Let's go to Moonglow. Is there anything else closer to Moonglow? Minoc, we've been there. You know, we've used Minoc's Moongate a lot. 